What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping so by. So today's video, we are going to uh, smoke some St. Louis style ribs on the pit barrel cooker. I am going to season them with Brother Rich's uh, River Dirt. This is his all-purpose rub. I love the all-purpose rub. I'm going to run with that. Now, I am going to use my SPG as a base layer. You guys know that you know that's just something that I do. And since his is low in sodium, I'm going to add a little bit of that with my SPG. But I'm wanting to do these ribs because you guys remember the pulled pork video I did with the uh, vinegar-based sauce. And, you know, I was drinking out of a bottle and talking about how great it was. And it really was great. Well, that company also makes a couple other sauces. And one of them is a southern mustard sauce. I love a good mustard sauce. They say it goes good on pork. We're going to put it to the test and we're going to find out. Again, I'm going to smoke these on the pit barrel cooker. We're going to smoke them up and try this sauce out. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think of this one. I got about a three and a half or a little over three pounds rack of uh, St. Louis ribs. I'm going to get them trimmed up. I'm going to remove the membrane and then I'll pick back up once it's time to rub. I'm really hoping this turns out good because again, I love a good muscle sauce and I'm really, I really got high expectations for this one. So stick around and we'll find out together how this turns out. You guys ready? Let's get started. Bam! All right, so I have the ribs here. I already trimmed them up. Um, didn't do a whole lot of trimming. I did remove the membrane from the back. I'm not gonna use a binder. I'm just gonna apply my SPG onto these ribs. And then I'm gonna come back and give it a coat with Brother Rich's uh, all-purpose river dirt rub. That there, and then come back with this all-purpose. even coating. I'm gonna let this sit for just a few minutes and I'm gonna flip it over and do the meat side. All right so I got the back side seasoned up. We're gonna season this top side. The SPG and then we're gonna come back and hit it again with Brother Rich's <clears throat> all-purpose rub. Just want to give this a nice even coating. Then we're going to get the hook on. The pit barrel cooker is already lit. I'm going to drop a couple of pieces of, uh, you know, I think I'm going to go pecan wood for this one. So we'll let this uh, rib set for just, I don't know, five, ten minutes. And then we'll get it hooked and then get it outside on the pit barrel cooker. All right, that rub is starting to sweat in. So we're going to get this rack of ribs on the pit barrel cooker. All right, got some cherry wood in there. Let's get this bad boy in there. That's it, close it up. And uh, we'll start spritzing probably about the one hour mark. Okay, guys, we're about an hour and a half in. This is what they're looking like. So, got some good color on them. Get them back on. And I'm spritzing with this right here so get the lid back on and let them keep cooking all right you guys these ribs have been going for just under three hours uh, we're starting to get some pullback I'm gonna go ahead and sauce them now this sauce that I'm using again it this is the um, where did I put the bottle oh, right here this is this um, from Carolina Q's southern mustard sauce so this is what we're going to use on these ribs now this sauce is unlike the vinegar sauce that was really thin this one is is pretty thick so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to spritz these ribs down with some uh some water and what that's going to do is it's going to give me a a smooth wet surface 
to apply this rub on. I'm sorry, the sauce on. And then after I apply the sauce, I'm gonna come back and spritz it again with that water just to kind of uh, help it as it um, as it goes back on the pit to kind of spread out thin out some. So we're gonna do that there, and then I'm just gonna hit it again. This is just straight water, and I want to thin this out. I want to thin the sauce out just a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over. Careful because that hook is still hot. The same thing. I'm gonna hit it with some water. Come back with the sauce. The sauce is uh, a lot thicker than I thought it would be, but that's quite all right. I didn't quite expect it to be as thin as a vinegar sauce, but it is a little thicker than I expected. But I think as it, I mean, part of that is probably because it's, you know, it's kind of been sitting and uh, it's kind of like cold. And when you warm up sauce, it thins it out. So we're gonna do that. And then again, I'm gonna come back with some water and just give these ribs a uh, quick little spray. And that's it. I'm gonna take these ribs, get them back on the uh, pit barrel. They're actually pretty tender. I'm gonna get them back on the pit barrel and let them sit for, uh, hang for probably about 10, 15 minutes. I'll pull them off and then we'll get to tasting. All right, you guys, these ribs have been on the pit sauce for about 15 minutes and just put them off and we're gonna cut into them and see what they taste like. Ooh, they're still hot, 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 hot. They're cutting really well. So, I like that. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. And I think I'm gonna just cut one more for now. There you go, let me get these removed so I got some more room and then we'll take a look at these and give them a taste. All right, so I got some of these cut up. This is what they look like, as you can tell. We've got a nice smoke ring on these ribs all the way around. Take a look at this one. Ah, oh, they're still hot. You can see that smoke ring on here, so that's good. And there's still some moisture in here. I hope you can pick that up. So we're gonna give it a taste and I mean, the pullback isn't what I uh, expected. I mean, I expect a lot more pullback, but we got some, you know, like if you look at this bone here, I mean, we, you know, we got a little bit of pullback, but they still actually feel tender, you know, as I touch them. So we're gonna give them a taste and, uh, you know, see what that sauce is all about, see if it worked. But again, make that out here. You know, there's some moisture in there, a nice smoke ring, so we'll give it a taste. All right, you guys, so I'm shooting this clip. I just shot the ending to my video where I did the taste test on the ribs. The, you'll see here in a minute, the missus comes in, she gives her opinion on it. Um, and once I ended the video and started eating some more of the ribs, I gotta say, I was, I was actually digging the ribs. So I think in the clip, the next clip that you're going to see, I was kind of like, eh, so-so about this sauce on the rub. This one here, and you'll see it again in this video. The Carolina Q's uh, Southern Mustard Sauce. I was, and again, you'll, you'll see the clip in just a second. I was kind of not so high on it, but 
the more I started eating, the more I thought, this is damn good. <laughs> so, I wanted to come on here really quickly and just mention that because you're going to see in the next clip where I was like, you know, not too fond of it after taking like one or two bites. <coughs> Excuse me. But as I kept eating it, I kind of grew up to miss us. It's some good stuff. So, anyway, I just wanted to add this in before you see the next clip. And um, because, you know, like I said, as I continue eating, eating the ribs, uh, it really was some good stuff. So, anyway, on with the rest of the video. All right, you guys, now it's time for the taste test. I got the rib here. Um, you know, nice smoke ring, so it has some moisture to it. Let's give it a bite and see what it tastes like. Nice clean bite. The rub is good, just as I expected. The sauce. I gotta be honest, you know, it's so-so. Um, <clears throat> I love a good mustard sauce. I think that the problem with this one for me personally is that it's too thick. Um, I actually had to uh, wa um, mix it with a little bit of water, just kind of thin it out a little bit. I mean, the sauce tastes good, but it's it's a little a little too thick for my liking. As you can see, the rib is cooked perfectly. It's that sauce. For pork. Uh, I'm gonna say um, I would probably go with something else. <clears throat> now, I traditionally like the mustard sauce on chicken. So, before I completely grade this sauce and tell you what I think of it, or you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, I need to cook some chicken with it. I think on chicken it would be a whole lot better, and I kind of think that that's what it's designed for more. Again, it isn't bad on the pork. Um, it just isn't my favorite. Now, the Carolina one, that, that vinegar-based sauce, that stuff is legit. This one, I'm going to let my wife, if she wants to take a quick taste. Oh, you made ribs? Yeah. She just walked in the door. I had Hi. no idea I was going to tell her. <laughs> uh, take a bite of that and tell me what you think of that sauce. Just any rib. I'm going to let my wife take a quick taste test. She's in the background here. She just got home from church. It's that um, mustard sauce. What do you think about it on pork? Mm. You I like it? it? Okay, well, you guys heard it. <laughs> My wife likes it. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you, you got uh, my opinion and you got my wife's opinion. Again, I wasn't planning on putting her on camera. She literally like just walked in the door Hola. and hasn't even put all her stuff down yet um but mm -hmm. you like it i like the smokiness like you can taste the smoke but you can taste like it's like a little tang like a little twang yeah i like it all right well you guys heard it yourself <laughs> the missus likes it so i guess she'll, she'll give it a thumbs up i'm not giving it a thumbs down um uh i i, I like it mm. it um out of the mustard sauces that i've tried i wouldn't say it's my favorite but again, I haven't, this is the very first time trying it, and I'm really looking forward to trying it on some chicken. I, I, and, and honestly, I think that's what it's best for, in my opinion. Um, because the, the sheet says that like, it's good on beef and, and chicken, pork, you know, and fish. Um, I don't know so much about beef, personally, just from where I'm from, you know, the kind of flavor profiles that we like down here. But hey, ain't no more meat left on that bone, woman. I haven't had dinner. She damn near ate all the meat off the bone. I went for one rib. <laughs> anyway, uh, you heard what the missus thought. You heard what I thought. Again, I will use this sauce in a future cook on some chicken. Uh, that's where I'm really looking forward to trying it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Listen, do me a favor. Give me a like. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thumbs up on this video. 
I would truly appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm telling you guys, uh, Rich's River Dirt, this all-purpose rub, he's got three. He's got this one. He's got the hot and sweet and the sweet. The hot and spicy and the sweet. And then this all-purpose, I'm telling you, this all-purpose rub, it's some good stuff. I really, really dig it. And if you want to get some, go to heavenmadeproducts.com and you can find some of Brother Rich's rubs there. He would appreciate it. Help a brother out. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.